Hi guys, Trekworks here with you again. Well here's another quick update for the Defiant model kit that I've been building. I've gone in and done some more work on the panel painting of this thing. I wanted to show you guys how it's turning out. I'm really happy with it so far. I've just been kind of looking at the pictures on the box art there and just kind of going around and trying to match up some of these patterns and uh, colors that they used on this. So I'm really happy with how these uh, panels are looking so far. And I've still got the weathering and everything to do on this, but uh, uh, I'm really happy with the uh, colors and the different patterns that we've got going on here. It's really starting to bring it to life. I also got in the Don's Light and Magic uh, parts kit for this. I'm going to come back here in just a second set the camera up in a different spot and show you guys these parts. The difference between those and the stock parts and what you have to do to modify them to get them to work to, so you can uh, add lighting to this kit. I'll be right back with that. Okay guys, well here we are. We've got the parts from Don's Light and Magic lined up next to the kit supplied factory parts here and you can see the difference right away uh, the original part here that comes with the kit you've got these little these are the pieces that go at the back of the uh, warp nacelles and you can see we've got these little screens in here that are molded all as one solid piece and if you wanted to light this model you'd have to basically cut these screens out and put some kind of a clear backing in there uh, and then put your lighting in there from the back side but you'd lose this uh, this nice kind of screen effect here that's in there so with the DLM parts Don light, Don's Light and Magic parts you get these uh, parts, uh, basically the exact same thing as this, but the parts have been punched out there in the center, and this is molded out of resin, and so then you have this uh, nice clear molded lens that fits in behind there that you still, by the way, have your nice uh, kind of screen look there, kind of grating there on the front there that gives that nice texture, and it's obviously tinted in blue, so you can either put a blue LED or a white LED behind that, and it's going to light up nice and blue and uh, it's basically a direct replacement part. Again, these are made out of resin, so when you glue these on the model, they do recommend that you use uh, a CA glue to hold those. And then here we have the original, uh, they are called uh, Boussard Scoops on this particular model and not Boussard Collectors. And we can see that this has a basic setup like this. This is molded in, uh, the center section here is supposed to be lit in red. And you can see that this is a solid part here and that you've got a uh, solid piece there behind it. So what I've did is, following the instructions here, you've got a um, uh, guide that you can cut out. Basically, just cut that out with a pair of scissors or something and lay that on there and mark it. Basically, what I did here is I just laid this on this this uh, part, this one that I'll show you that I modified already. Traced it with a pencil and cut that out with my Dremel tool. And then the lens uh, fits uh, right in behind that. As you can see now, this I want to point out, this just kind of gives you a guideline, and uh, it wound up being that much bigger when I uh, finished grinding to get it to fit down in there where this little edge that's molded on the back side there fit all the way inside of that flange and laid down in there nice and flush, and I'll kind of show you how that lines up here. There's a, there's a mounting peg on one side, actually on both sides, and I grinded one of them down because they just didn't want to line up so it would sit flush, but you can see in the shot there that it's, uh, it's sitting nice and flush. And uh, so basically that's the modification of that. Uh, I won't go into the detail because I'm sure you guys pretty know, pretty much know how to take. What you do is, what I did here is I just drilled a series of small holes, then took a bigger drill bit and went around and just kind of grinded until I met each hole and just worked it out. And then I took a smaller uh, round grinding tip and just went around that and cleaned it up a little bit until the hole was big enough for this to drop into. And I'll follow the same procedure on the other one. I've got it marked here on the back side if you can see that. And so that'll be taken care of. And then finally here we have the uh, factory kit supplied uh, deflector dish assembly here and as you can see again it's one solid piece with a little grating there in the center of it and our aftermarket piece is uh, basically the same thing but you've got this little transparent blue uh, screen that fits in behind that and that's your modification for that part. You paint these whatever you want to do with it and then put this behind it and do your lighting. So uh, pretty simple, pretty nice little kit, uh, runs around $20. Uh, and again, it, you could probably do a lot of this stuff on your own, but doing this Boussard collector here would be a little bit tough because this is a solid part and uh, there's not a lot you can do with that. So the rear part wouldn't be too hard to modify. Like I mentioned, you could just, you could just cut that out, these screens yourself, and then do something with it with a clear lens behind there or a blue lens. But um, the front part's a little bit more of a problem. So I think the kit's worth the money. It really uh, will make it easier to do the lighting on this. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of mock some of these pieces together here and I'm going to come back and uh, turn the lights on on this and show you what some of the lighting effect is going to look like on it. We'll be back with that in just a second. Okay guys, here's a shot of the model with the uh, 
grills installed in the back and the lighting we've got going on the top you can see that's given us a really really pretty shade of kind of violet blue and uh, really looks nice I'm really thinking that that's uh, just the the one set of strip lights that I put in there for the top to light up those rings are going to light the back of the nacelles too I don't want those to be super bright so I'll probably just wind up putting some uh, some small red ones at the front some strip LED to uh, uh, light up the front facade uh, scoop so um, yeah it's really cool looking and it's just about the right amount of brightness I'm really happy with that so that's it for this week guys when I come back uh, towards the end of the week I'll be giving you another update on this and sometime in the middle of the week or a little later I'll be back with an update on the sea view build too that we're doing on the sci-fi model channel that one's coming along pretty nice so hope you guys enjoyed this and until I see you next time everybody happy modeling everyone